Hey guys, so I am building on what I have been doing. Today I am going to be using um, Creative Inspirations paints because we know they sell. Um, so I just wanted to see what happens if we put the garage door lubricant inside Creative Inspirations paints and did a flip cup. So I have um, Cobalt Blue, Purple Lake, and Sky Blue, but I have um, muted them down like three to one with Creative Inspirations White. So they're very, um, they're almost like spring colors um, instead of the darker colors that they normally are. So I haven't put the silicone in it yet, the garage lubricant, because um, I want you guys to see how I'm doing it so there aren't any questions. My paint is mixed one part paint, two parts Floetrol, and a quarter water. So if I did one ounce of paint, I did two ounces of Floetrol and 0.25 ounces of water in each of these cups. I did not put any silicone in my white. I am going to do a quick flip cup like I did last time. I think that ends up looking a lot nicer than letting um, everything mix together and sell and then um, tilt it out. I think doing it super fast. is the way to go with these silicone flip cups. It's just what I experienced a few times. So I'm going with what I think works best. And yes, it does waste a lot more paint doing it this way. Um, but if you scrape it at the end, it's not a big deal. So I keep all my drippings when I say scrape. I don't mean scrape the canvas. I mean scrape the, um, scrape your workspace. Scrape up all the paint you left on the, on the paper below. Put it in another container and save it for another painting. Um, what's great about this garage door lubricant is I don't have to label these really like, oh, silicone, like I used to because um, while it is silicone, it doesn't pit like silicone, it doesn't behave like silicone, it creates cells like silicone, and that is it. It doesn't leave grease on your canvas like silicone. So it's all the benefits of silicone with none of the cons. All the pros, none of the cons. All right, let's do this. Let's do this, I guess.
not quite as thin as the last one I did. But this is interesting what's happening here. All right, you guys, here this one is wet. Um, it's so crazy because it's such a different result than the last ones I've been doing. Um, this one is pitted, like you could see. Um, the pitting in the canvas, so it's gonna be interesting to see how this dries. And it's also um, like raised, like in spots. See how some of these cells look like pimples, <laughs> I guess. Um, like the blue ones are like, I don't know you guys. I don't know if you could see that, but they're, it's like raised up, I don't know. I can't like tilt it or show you or anything. We're, we're gonna have to wait until it dries and maybe uh, we'll see if it dries this way, but it is definitely 100% textured. So I don't know if whatever's in that reacts with the creative inspiration so, so, so differently that this different, <sighs> guys, I don't know. I've got mountains and valleys and this is insane. Um, I will bring you back when it's dry. Hey guys, so this one was a little dramatic and it ended ended up playing out um, no drama at all. No grease spots on the canvas, no um, nothing unusual about this as opposed to any other painting that I've ever done, any of the pour over paintings, any anything that I've done with creative inspirations um, where I get cells. So it created all these cells, um, but didn't leave um, the greasy mess. As this was drying, you guys, I actually kind of said to myself like, how did I end up with pink, purple, and blue when I used cobalt blue, sky blue, and um, purple lake? I, I was wondering where the pink came in, but um, it's the purple lake, you guys. Um, so um, this one just turned out really, really, really pretty. I actually like it a lot. Um, I think from like a lot of the negative space that maybe there aren't cells, that a lot of it is just kind of color. Um, I will say that it left this like, I don't wanna say sheen cause it's not like greasy, like lubricant on it. Um, but it's almost like, you guys. I wish I could explain what it is. Um, or you could see, but see how it, it, it's not like a flat finish. And this is the only one. This hasn't happened on any of the other ones. This is only the creative inspirations, but it kind of lit on the entire painting, not in certain spots, not anywhere, um, that I would say like, oh yeah, that's silicone. It's almost like, It's not like glossy it's and it's not like matte or satin it's I don't know it's like just like a hybrid I don't know it's cool you guys it's not it's not bad um I don't know let me know let me know if you try creative inspiration paints um what you think and if you have a word for the kind of sheen 
it leaves <laughs> on the canvas. Um, thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you next time.